Okay, play lawyers. This is Bell Buckle Hideaway. So these are the facts. Someone comes into your office and they say, I was in Tennessee and I thought, well, I'd like to go to Bell Buckle on my way to Fall Creek Falls State Park. So they called the Bell Buckle Hideaway and it was through Verbo and made a reservation for two nights. They immediately got back a message, no availability. But that, e so they went ahead and went to Fall Creek Falls and rented a cabin. So your client then later on finds out that Bell Buckle Hideaway has charged $350, something like that, to their credit card. So they say to you, Lawyer Jones, what am I to do? I called Verbo and they said, no, Bell Buckle Hideaway had to give the money back. And you keep calling Bell Buckle Hideaway and they stall and they this and that. And they say, Verbo has to give the money back. But one thing you're sure of, that both Verbo and Bell Buckle Hideaway <laughs> have your 300 and something dollars. So what do you do? Okay, I'll give you some options. Number one, file a criminal complaint with a prosecutor in for Bell Buckle, the DA or whoever. And then, um, you don't want to do that, but if you do that, you would want to swear out an affidavit and mail it to them. The facts are that the bank that Verbo sucked the money out of and gave to Bill Buckle Hideaway is in one state that's not Tennessee. Is that wire fraud, interstate wire fraud? Is it bank fraud? Okay, so you might think, well, this is really a crummy little thing, don't worry about it, but this actually, could this actually be a, a class action against Verbo? Because one thing you can be sure of, after you've called Verbo ten times and Bell Buckle Hideaway ten times, that Verbo, this isn't the first time this has happened, so there are other uh, persons that are your potential clients. Okay, so what are you going to do? Play law. So, play lawyers, do you want to take this case it's such a negligible amount of money. Should you just tell them to forget it? Or, here's an option. Tell them to make a video like this that has all the facts, uh, the amounts, the dates, the number of the reservation, and so forth. And then they can call and record Bill Buckle Hideaway folks. It says Nicole is a super host. And you can call the Verbo folks and record them saying, no, they're not going to give the money back either. And uh, then, well, what do you do with that? Well, that would bolster your case with the prosecutor. And then you could put your little thing on the net and contact some attorneys that do that sort of thing. Maybe class actions or I don't know. I don't do class actions myself. All right, play law.